The West Coast Avengers are the best Coast Avengers. Let's go. Geeks, what is happening? We've got another 60 year anniversary Avenger. We've got Hawkeye with the Sky Cycle. Now, if you have been following my little channel, you know that I love me some West Coast Avengers. And this Hawkeye on the Sky Cycle, it's a must. All right, in the box, you have the Sky Cycle. It comes with the same stand, looks like, that came with the Demo Goblin bath. Then you've got Hawkeye with his quiver, a bow, and an extra set of hands, looks like a fist. Now, this looks like the same bow and arrow setup that came with the recent comic book Yondu. Now, I don't know if the bow's the same, but the arrows and the quiver look to be the same. I'll double check. Yep, the quiver is the same exact one that Yondu has. Same bow as well. All right, vehicular accessories. You have the Sky Cycle itself, the stand, its front windshield, and the base. And now we've got Clinton Barton, Hawkeye. He's got his bow, an extra set of hands. He's got another fist and a gripping hand. He's got his quiver full of arrows. Oh yeah, and a single arrow. Bink! So the Sky Cycle is not phoned in. You look closely, he's got a HUD here, it's red and blue. Handlebars are black. The seat is brown like leather, but then when you look into the tailpipes, there is yellow and green paint to make it look like they're firing off back there like there's some combustion. Looks pretty good. Now this silver part could use a little bit of a wash, but I'm gonna let that go because overall it's nice. All right, my Buck Sculpt Warriors helped me out. Are these all new parts? I don't recognize these abs. Matter of fact, one, two, three. Oh, it's three. It looks like four the way his chest is cut up, but man, I don't remember seeing this on another body. He's got pinless arms, pinless legs. Hmm, could be. Now, I thought Hasbro had moved past these loose armbands and they started sculpting them in, but not here. They're there. They fit nicely, but when you're messing around with the arms, they do tend to fall down. The chain mail on his outfit looks really good. The head sculpt, I can dig it. Does look like Clint Barton to me. Wrist cuffs, do they come off? Yep, they do. The loin piece here, soft goods. Necessary for him to sit properly on the bike. Thank you, Hasbro. Now, be really careful. Yours may not have this, but mine, his knees are super, super stiff. They need to they need to be putting boiling the water for a while. When I was trying to bend his knees to put him on a sky cycle, I started getting this separation right here at the thigh, and I got really scared. Then that boot separation started coming in on that leg too, but then I realized that these are pegged in, and you can just put them right back in. But I don't know about that upper thigh. I don't, I don't know if he's all build a figure but I don't want to find out. So he looks really good. The blue paint pops off, the purple or magenta is awesome. I've always loved Hawkeye, I've always loved his outfit. When the Avengers movie came out and Hawkeye didn't look anything like Hawkeye, I was super pissed. Of course I got used to it. I don't like that Hasbro cheaped out and reused the bow and quiver from Yondu. I think Hawkeye should have his own thing, but hey, I guess they had to find a way to pay for the loincloth. These are not the same boots as Yondu. But I know I've seen him before. Help me out. All right, you got a 360 at the head. You get no tilt. Range looking down. 
I can see you from my sky cycle. Looking up. I see you stole my sky cycle. Arms get up, yay high. Archer huggy. Not that snuggy. He does have butterfly joints. I was about to say he didn't, but they are very well hidden in there. They're blue to match his spandex, and they only popped out when I put his arms way, way back. That's nifty. I like that design. Good engineering. Where was I? Oh yeah, wingspan sick. Need some boogie wipes. Double jointed pinless elbows, nowhere near as stiff as those knees, thank goodness. 360 at the shoulder, giving you intermittent clicks there. Loving that, helps with posing. 360 at the bicep, and then 360 at the wrist. Vertical wrist hinges give you a repulsive blast and kiss the ring. Pew, pew. Ab rocker gives you good crunch. I think I'm gonna be sick. Also bringing the willy way back. No rocker, but it does give you 360 at the waist. I don't, don't want to say intermittent clicks. I can feel a little bit of bumping in there, but it's super loose, not worth mentioning. You know, I just mentioned it. 360 at thigh cut, very loose. 360 at that calf cut, which still scares me. It's very loose. Splits there, but nothing to write home about. It comes with the van damage. That good bend over. I won't even get into what it took to get that leg back there like that, man. Those knee joints are super stiff. Toe range is respectable. Feet are on rockers. Clint, how tall are you? About six and a quarter inches, and he matches my ruler. Aww. There he is lined up with some of the other figures from this anniversary wave. I'll take him. Well executed for the most part. Sky Cycle's dope, sculpting's dope, painting's dope. But as you saw, I had problems with those stiff knees, that boot connection. It's a tale of two cities. Some of his limbs are way too stiff, but I can heal that with some hot water. But a lot of his lower limbs on the legs, the thigh cuts, the boot cut, a little bit too loose for my liking. Sound off in the comments if you got this guy. Let me know how your legs are. Do I need to try and get Hasbro to replace mine, or is this going across the board? Because it scares me. It's not a problem now, but I fear down the line it may get worse. But if I'm not making sense to you, I'm saying, hey, worth the purchase. <laughs> I really dig it. Sky Cycle really nails it. And like I said before, saving grace, the soft goods between his legs. Without that, it wouldn't have worked properly. All right, let me know what you think. Sound off in the comments. Make sure to hit that like button, subscribe, and turn notifications. Share a link to this video with your friends that love the plastic Avengers like we do. Let's meet up in the comments. Till next time, geek out.